welcome back to Blue Rag Review. My name is Lily from the Wonderful World of Lily, and I will be joining her to do this look. So if you want to learn how to do this, stay tuned. <laughs> okay, so if you have a hard time with the curl staying, uh, be sure to prep your hair with a nice mousse or a curling, I mean a styling cream or something to help you with those curls. Her hair curls really, really nicely, so I don't have to worry about that. So she just shampooed and conditioned her hair last night, and we brushed it out, and we're ready to go. So, the way I like to do it, you can start from the top or the bottom, however you prefer. I like to, if I'm doing it on somebody, I start from the bottom up. If I'm doing it on myself, I go top up. Totally up to you. So, I'm going to take it, I'm going to have you turn like this, huh? Okay. Thank you. So whatever width of curling iron you have, today we're going to use a one and a half, that's how big a bout you can do for your curls. It doesn't have to be perfect, but that's how you're going to get the best curl. So. So before you start, I like to have clips ready. You can use clips or bobby pins. Today I'm going to use these kind of clips. You can get them at Sally's or whatever, um, or you can use bobby pins. So have those ready, a pile of them so you're not digging through things, and your curling iron. If you need to, you can spray a very light hold spray in between each curl, but I want these to be really soft and really bouncy, so we're not going to do that. Um, the best way for these curls, like I said, every curl is different, is I like to hold it up because I want that curling iron to lay right here once it curls as opposed to doing down here because I want some of that volume. So I'm going to have the curling iron, I'm going to have it pulled up like this. I'm going to go till the end, right when it kind of starts falling then you can know that that's when you're gonna start curling to anchor it and then barely move it down. Curl it to the base, let go. It's gonna be hot, so be careful. Then I like to twist it into that same curl shape. Take a clip, put it right through, and now that'll cool that way. So it's gonna keep that curl really nicely. And we're going to curl everything down, every, curling everything under in a horizontal pattern. If it drops, just pick it right back up and recurl it, but try to keep it in that same curl so that it doesn't have any time to lose any of that, that nice shape you're creating. Okay, so I just take the next section, do about an inch, inch and a half parting. Try to make it kind of even, just so that everything is nice and neat. I think hair works really nice when you just are organized, it doesn't get overwhelming, and you just keep all of your partings and stuff just really pretty. So. I like to keep my, depending on how tight you want your curls, today I'm having all of my little uh, subsections to be about this wide. So I'm going to have one, two, three on the second row. Can okay, you turn your head a little bit? Thank you. I'm going to leave this right here up for this ear part. I'll just do it right here. Holding that hair up a little bit so that your curling iron will create that curl to go up as opposed to down. Yeah, and then each, each time you curl, mm -hmm. it's not how much left you have, but it's, like my mom said, uh, it's about what size of the curling iron that you're using to curl your hair to make it all nice and bouncy and look like one beautiful, just big spiral. So what do you mean, like, depending on how big your curls are, that's a big section, is that what you're talking about? Basically. Cool. Like sometimes we do small sections and that makes our hair like just totally different kind of curls. So just experiment. Every time you curl your hair, do something a little bit different and you'll get all kinds of different looks. Because one time you can do all different ways and then it looks like this cute little, not mess, but like it looks like this cute little curly, it's just like really bounce naturally yeah. curly hair on this. Uh, yeah, uh, then like when your little girl is like running around, it's just cute little flowing around. And then 
Another way is just do it all the same way. And that, like, as you throw over your shoulder, it just looks like this one big spiral. Mm -hmm. And you like to do all kinds of different curls, huh? Mm -hmm. Sometimes we'll be like, hey, we've never done this curl before because we just happen to use a different size with a different method, and mm -hmm. suddenly it's a curl that we've never done before. Yeah, so, like, there are different size curling irons, like the one we're using, it's an inch and a half. I think that there might be a two inch. There's all kinds of sizes. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So it, it kind of depends on what type of curl. If you want it to be like super loose and pretty and bouncy, then you might want to do the bigger one, like the largest one. But then like if you want super little tight, cute little, like not stiff, but like little straight curls, full soldier curls, mm -hmm. um, then you might want to use the half inch mm -hmm. or something. Yeah, just play around with curling irons. Not truly. You don't want to yeah, plug it in really, and start playing around. Yeah, don't play with curling <laughs> irons. <laughs> Just play with your curls, huh? Mm-hmm. Okay. Yeah, so uh, normally if you use one of the big curl, big curling irons, uh, that you don't really want to, like, pull on it because then, like, throughout the day, it kind of just gets straighter. If it's tight, you still probably don't want to pull on it, but not too much damage will happen if, like, you're like accidentally like yanking on it on your tighter curls or something. Do you mean like when the curl comes out how sometimes like I pull on the curl to lengthen it? Mm -hmm. That with the big curls you don't want to do that? Right because yeah, then those fall. yeah oh because mm -hmm. then uh, like you do it really loose and pretty and then you pull on it it turns straight again. Right and then where's your work? Okay so this one I'm going to split in five so I'm going to have one two the middle one three four five. I'm just separating those out. Yeah, and most of the time to know if like you're even, uh, most of the time, uh, each and every layer is bigger than the other one. And then when you get to half the head, then it starts just overlapping those same numbers. Mm -hmm. Woo, these curls get hot. Be careful if you're just if you're not pinning them up and you're curling them, because there's often times that I'll curl her hair and I'll forget how hot that they get, and then I'll drop it on her neck and she's like, "Ah, mom, this one's a little toasty." Yeah, so and uh, some of them, like if you're using like one of the tight curls and then like you just let it sit after, uh, like moms, you may want to put on like a glove or something and then curl it and put it on. Yeah, one of the heat resistant gloves. Mm -hmm. You know, this one's kind of big, so I'm actually going to split it in half. Uh, then another good part about these curls is that, like, they're not just stock straight, but, like, as, like, you run and have fun, your little girl or even just your hair gets all, like, bouncy and pretty, and then throughout the day, mm -hmm. it gets, like, straighter, and then it looks even prettier at the end of the day. Right. It's through the day. It just falls really nice to where it just has a nice little bend to it, huh? Mm -hmm. And these kind of curls make beautiful ponytails, don't they? Yes. We love that. Yeah, uh, then, oh, one day, I want you guys to try to do a ponytail first and then try taking, like, the biggest um, curling iron that you have and, like, the biggest chunks of hair and then curl them all the same way and then kind of use your hand and, like, spiral it and uh, down below, tell us what it looks like, like, so tell us if it just looks like this cute little bouncy, like this cute little bouncy curl, or if it's just one big spiral. Yeah, that'd be a good idea, huh? Yeah. That's right. Hang on, do you wanna say hi? We have an intruder in the room. Do you wanna say hello, Hunter? <laughs> Hang on. Come here. He's got, wait. Hi. Hang on, that's on. He's got messy hair because he's playing. Hi. This Hunter. Hi. Okay. Don't he's my little brother. And also, uh, most of the time, like, uh, you can't, uh, most of the time, like, if you do cute little tight girl on a girl with short hair, it's probably going to go up to, like, here. If you do it with long hair, then it would probably look like mine where it's just cute little bouncy. Right. It curls shrink of, the hair. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So you're just Since it's taking a long piece, 
and then it's using it and it's curling it. So as you curl it, it goes up. So that's how it makes your hair a little shorter than it regularly is. Yeah. All right, so now I'm gonna curl the rest of the hair and I'll come back when we get to the top to show you how we're gonna place the curls. Okay, so now that we have everything curled, these ones are curled under and everything on top is just curled backwards. Then on this top, you're gonna figure out which way you wanna part your hair. She's gonna part her hair this way. And now these ones, I like to take vertical if you want a little loop, which I like. If you want a little swoop in the front. Okay, and I'll hold this over here. Put your head up. Drop it in your hand, hopefully it's not too hot. Rewrap it. And then just pin it to the base. Like that, we're gonna do that with these ones here. You want to make sure on these front ones that you get nice and to the base and be nice and clean with them because these are the ones that are in the front and framing your face. And this one, because I don't want it to be cooled like that, I want it to be up here, so I'm just going to kind of tuck it behind this curl and just make sure it's like standing up like this. So once these have all cooled, we'll come back, take them out, and we'll style them. So we'll be right back. Okay, so now that we've let them cool, we'll just take out the clips. I usually just go in the order that I put them in, no big deal. So Lily got braces yesterday, and it's insane after one day how much they've already changed, by the way. But she has her own channel, I'll link it below. If you wanna watch it, or you have anybody that's getting braces, or going to get braces, or has already had them and wants to give her some tips, she is going to be making videos about her braces. She already made one about um, the process of getting her spacers and doing the moldings and everything. And then next week we'll film about her first week with braces. So, so if you wanna check that out, I'll link her channel down below. It's the wonderful world of Lily. When you're taking them out, don't pull on them. Just let them fall as they fall. It keeps the volume. Oh, sorry. Okay. You can also do this look with hot rollers. Just roll your whole head and let it cool, and then they should come out bouncy too. Just make sure you get the ends nice and wrapped. So now what I like to do is put her head back, and I just shake out all the curls. Get in there. Nice little massage. Okay, head up. And now's when you place them. So then you just take it and place it. I'm gonna take this side here. I'm just gonna take this side, do a nice little twist behind the ear. And then just fix your curls how you want them. You can put a little bit of spray if you want. You can even take this and do a little pin. Let me see. Like, if you're doing your own hair, I mean, she's seven and there's, she would let her hair wear like this, but most seven year olds wouldn't. But how pretty if you just took this and sprayed it and it's just such a nice face framing thing. But if we were gonna like wear her hair like this, just take this and do a little twist. There you go. There you go, so now you have big, beautiful curls. Do a little side. They're so nice and bouncy. Turn the side, beautiful. 
it's so pretty. And then it's perfect for even if you do this and you want to do a ponytail, like that's just really, really pretty. So put a little bandana in it, so cute. So that's how you do the curls. You just curl everything under, depending on the size. If you use a bigger curling iron, curls will be looser. Tighter curling iron, you'll get that real like retro vibe and they'll be nice and you could like brush them through. Um, but there's your big, beautiful curls. Thanks for joining. Bye guys, thank you so much for watching.